Uh, Craig, a slow start in a, in a sort of classic cup tie, but you got over the line in the end. Yeah, it was. We knew it was going to be tough. We knew we'd come here, you know, a big crowd that support the team really well. You know, when you can have a fly, and obviously they had a bit of a, a bit of a blip last week against Conway, but we knew that, as I've just said, they had nothing to lose and we had everything to lose. Uh, it was, a, as you said, a hostile atmosphere. You know, a lot, a lot of uh, people through the gate today. At two 0 down, what was going through your head? I think with the, with the time, you no, know, we still had 60 minutes left. You know, which, which I wasn't unduly concerned because we still had 60 minutes left. And I know that we've got goals all over the team. You know, we've, we've scored, we scored three goals in, in a matter of 10 minutes. So, you know, we, we should have probably second half went on and, and you know, hit the post, hit the bar. Keep us made two or three great saves, and it should have been a bigger gap than it was in the end. But they've done well. They, you know, they've scored a, a lucky, scruffy goal to start with. It's a huge reflection. Second goal is a great goal for them, and you know, it's it's, it's give, give our lads a kick on the backside to, to go and to go on and win the game. It's what we needed. Are you pleased with that resilience? As you said, you know, you were two 0 down after half an hour. Come to the break, you were three two up. Pleased that the lad, you know, kept going in that first half and sort of grinding. Yeah, definitely. Goals. You know, you know, I think it's a, I think it's a true sign of champions. You know that you go behind, you know, against a bit of adversity with a with a deflected goal early on, and, and you know we'll come back and win three two, and arguably it could have been four five or six. You know, in the last ten minutes, have put the most pleasing bit was maybe obviously I spoke about it last week. The last ten minutes have put a bit aerial pressure on us, and we stood up and we headed balls and we put our head where it would hurt. You know, we won second balls and we just defended properly. You know, with gut determination. So you know that that was more for me. That was the biggest plus point of today. Nothing else really. You said then about the uh, the aerial balls. Obviously, you conceded two from from corners last week. Is that someone you've, something you've been drumming into the lads? Yeah, the we've, we've this worked week? on a training this week. You know, the lads probably had a bad head today through having a sore head through heading the ball this week. But you know, it's them ugly things that you know the rest of the stuff. We play fantastic football, good movement, you know, good pace, good footballers. We've got goals all over. But you've got to make sure you do them ugly, horrible things and go and head the ball and defend properly. Are you surprised by sort of Carnarvon? They're, they're fourth in the, in the league below. Do you feel they've got the sort of potential to? to no, I wasn't surprised at all. We didn't take them lightly either. We knew what we were going to get. You know, we knew, knew completely what we were going to get. So, and as I say, they had everything to gain and nothing to lose. And we had nothing to gain and everything to lose. Everyone expected us to win. So, you know, and we did.